The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing good. I'm over here on uh, my blog. Uh, I haven't published it yet. I'm fixing to um, try to make the video and get it up and get it on here too at the same around the same time. But um, you see the title here, right? You see all this, right? Well, I read it all. And I listened to this video. Okay. Well, I want y'all to listen to the video. And go subscribe up to the guy too. This is his video. Uh, it's just linked into my blog. Then, I'd like for you to watch this video which is about the NDAA and then you can come down here and you can look at this one stuff that's going on right now or has been going on and then a lot of you done seen FEMA camp then either refresh your memory about it or whatever but to get the gist of the whole story, you got to look at all of them. Then listen to Judge Palatano on the First Amendment. And then this is a, a must hear. you got to hear it. Some of you have. It's gotten a lot of views. But uh, to go along with the rest of the story. Um... And at the end of this video, uh, I'm going to have uh, uh, another little thing that I'm going to do, uh, the cartoon. I'm going to edit it a little bit. But as you can see, this is a pretty large story. I want you to go look at it. I want you to go look. I want you to go read. Um, take your time, study it, and if your britches ain't brown when you get through, and you want to laugh about everything that's been going on, when you get through looking at this, if you ain't got a brown streak in your drawers, uh, because you've been told over and over again, then, um, I guess that uh, there's just no hope for you and there's no hope for our country so much love to y'all heads up and uh, y'all have a great evening many things to many people. To a 17-year-old kid, it's the malt shop on the corner. To Grandpa, it's the front porch in the cool of the evening. <laughs> to Mother and her family, it's church on Sunday morning. And to Dad, it's his favorite relaxation. <laughs> It's the Cracker Barrel philosophers in Fab Tree Corners. And it's the tycoons in Wall Street. It's all races, creeds, and religions. It's freedom to work at the job you like. Freedom of speech and to peaceably assemble. Freedom to own property. Security from unlawful search or seizure. Where's your warrant, Flatfoot? The right to a speedy and public trial. <coughs> Protection against cruel punishments and excessive fines. The right to vote. And to worship God in your own way. 
It is these freedoms that have made America strong. Okay, okay, so we got our freedom. But management's lousing up everything. Labor is at fault. It's ruining the country. My constituents, as your elected I can assure you labor's right. Management's right. I'm strictly neutral. Labor, management, politicians, fully. Well, they can't tell corn floats. Why, it's all right. Great, great, great. Right. Hurry, right. hurry, right. hurry, hurry, step right up, folks. Here's the answer to your problems. Dr. Utopia's sensational new discovery isn't. Ism will cure any ailment of the body politic. It's terrific. It's tremendous. Once you swallow the contents of this bottle, you'll have the bountiful benefit of higher wages, shorter hours, and security. Enormous profits, no strikes. Remember, you're the big boss. Government control, no worry about votes. Name your own salary. Bigger crops, lower costs. Why, ism even makes the weather perfect every day. And now then, because we are introducing this amazing item for the first time in this country, it isn't going to cost you one cent. All you have to do is sign this little scrap of paper, and you get your bottle absolutely free. I hereby turn over to Ism Incorporated everything I have, including my freedom, and the freedom of my children, and my children's children, in return for which said ism promises to take care of me forever. Pardon me. Pardon me. And who are you, my good man? I'm John Q. Public. Ah, oh, my fine friend, you're just in time to share this generous and gigantic offer. Sign right here. Mm. Mind if I read it first? Hurry up! Oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 Keep your shirts on, boys. You know, including my freedom. Freedom? What? Well, sign away my freedom. Why, this is ridiculous. Don't be coy. Well, YouTube, I had to stop for a minute and pause it and give y'all a little of this right here. Uh, it's been a while since I posted this. <clears throat> this goes along with uh, the Jesse Ventura Fuma Camps videos. As you can tell, that's the uh, uh, the uh, Fuma Camp coffins that they have, the plastic ones that are in uh, El uh, Elmer, Elma, Georgia. But anyway, I just wanted to show it to you and also let you know that and to remind y'all that this cartoon that you're seeing this on was made if you pay attention to the guy he just said it here just a few minutes ago uh, that well he well I think he's going to say it I don't think he's I cut it in the part where he's going to say it later but 160 years so that makes this video or this cartoon at least 51, 50 to 51, 52 years old. Now, that's how long they've been telling you to watch. And this is how long y'all been sleeping. Okay? Now, I showed you, tried to tell you, you know, best I can. Um, I think this is going to be an awesome video. I think it ought to go viral. But everybody knows my stuff don't do that I'll get one six months from that it six months from now it'll probably have 35,000 views or something but for the first two months until I forget I even got it it won't it won't get a view but that's just the way YouTube's been about everything else this is gonna be I think a good video especially this part right here where you see yourself coming up in a coffin and uh, with everything else that I've done and when you go to the blog and you watch the, the rest of the thing because this is going to be on the top and you listen to the rest uh, you'll get my drift then if you don't get my drift then I can't help you nobody can much love heads up peace stop it So 
Joe got some money from young Aunt Minnie and Uncle Angus and Grandpappy and Mr. Titus. When Joe's friends and relatives used their savings to help him buy tools and property, they were capitalists. Don't blush, folks. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Now, naturally, Joe needed some help. So he hired Willie Lumpkin, who was out of work anyway, and before long, Willie was skilled labor. Because capital, management, and labor worked together, Joe's idea grew. It grew and did things even he never dreamed of. Today, the automobile industry provides millions of jobs that never existed before. And remember, this is a story of only one industry scattered all over the United States whose history of development is pretty much the same. We've built a country under the American system that sends more young people to high school and college than all the rest of the world combined. Why, even in the Depression, our wages bought more food, clothing, travel, and entertainment than the wages of any other people in the world. Our country has a national income equal to the total national incomes of any other six nation the world. With only 7% of the Earth's we drive 70% of the world's automobiles. That's just a sample of the things the capitalistic system has given us in only 160 years. Before signing up, you boys ought to try a little taste of Doctorism's formula to see what you'd get in exchange for your freedom. Go ahead, try it. Tell me, I'll strike! The state forbids strikes. Wait till the union hears about this! Ah, yes, the union. Welcome to our ranks, number 1313. I'll take this case to the Supreme Court. The state is the Supreme Court. Our decision is as follows. No more private property. No more you. Well, the farm voted for a stop to this. Farmers don't vote anymore. Well, what will they do for seed next year? You won't have to worry about next year. The state will do your planning from now on. We must fight to regain our freedom or everything is lost. Everything! Everything is fine. 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 When anybody preaches disunity, tries to pit one of us against the other through class warfare, race hatred, or religious intolerance, you know that person seeks to rob us of our freedom and destroy our very lives. And we know what to do about it. Now, gentlemen, no violence, please. Don't blow those bubbles. Don't blow those... Working together to produce an ever greater abundance of material and spiritual values for all. That is the secret of American prosperity.